All right, y'all, welcome back to my video. And today I actually might have a banger. Today I'm building a PC for $670 with all brand new parts featuring the new Intel Arc D580. I finally got my hands on one. I did have to stay awake and basically battle for it in the morning because it sold out real quick. But everybody has been giving it hype reviews and just been raving about it how great it is. I mean, they really have been stroking the heck out of this graphics card. And for good reason, it does battle the for the, <laughs> the RX 4060 graphics card and beats it in some cases. And the best part is it got 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So they did not cheap out on the VRAM. And the way the game industry is going, you're going to need more VRAM. The eight gigabytes is steadily getting pushed out. So yeah, I'm just excited. I get to test this out. Now, all these parts did come from Newegg itself for the case and the CPU cooler. And I'm kind of salty because Newegg did not accept my affiliate program application. They rejected it, stating basically I don't have a big enough fan base. So <laughs> that it is what it is. I'm kind of mad about it. So you're not really going to get uh, any links in the bio to them just because I ain't got no affiliate links to put out there and it's kind of hard to put links out there. But nonetheless, I'm still excited to build this PC anyways. And yeah, I don't know if y'all can actually replicate this price, mainly because all these parts did go on sale at different times during the holidays and I was just grabbing them at different times. I really didn't know what PC I was going to build with them, but it ended up being the B580. So uh, with all that said, let's get into the. It's a lie. It's a lie. Oh, my masterpiece. All right, enough with the dramatics. Uh, let's get into the build. This is the final product with everything put together. I do like it. It's all white with some black accents. I think it looks nice. Uh, it's been downloading Windows. I'll finish this up a little later, but let's go over the parts real quick. And let's start off with the CPU that I got off of New Egg for $160.49. It's the Ryzen 7 5700X, and it did come with a free thing of RAM that's 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance. LPX DDR4 clocked at 3200 megahertz. Uh, yeah, that's right. The RAM did come free, and Newegg has been having deals like that with free RAM or free SSDs. And the RAM is valued at $51. Me personally, I value RAM at $32 to $35 because I only go with 16 gigabytes. But Newegg is a great place to get deals like this, and I'm gonna shop them out even though. They don't want me as affiliate. That's cool. Um, <laughs> for the motherboard, I also got off a new egg. It is the ASRock B550M Pro SE AM4 DDR4. That came uh, $74.89. Now the sale is over, but I think I seen it on AliExpress for $80 to $90. And with coupons, especially if you're a first time buyer, you could bring that down lower. Uh, also, this does not have a connection for the type C. So you're going to have to buy adapter. So that might actually make this $10 more because the adapter I can't find cheap. So power supply is the MSI uh, mag 650 watts ATX 80 plus bronze. Now on the tier list, this is rated C, even though it's a low C. It was on sale for $49.99, $53.49 after taxes. It's enough power to power this up. The only problem I had with it, it only had one cord for the PCIe lane that split into two eight. Um, that really isn't a problem because the Intel graphics card only uses an eight pin. But sometimes if you get a graphics card with more, the uh, power can be a little shaky on that end. Now for the storage, I picked up a Oracle J10 series one terabyte uh, NVMe. For $41, it was on sale on Newegg. Now they have been putting these on sale everywhere else. So you probably can get it around that uh, no more than $50. Uh, I have seen it on Amazon. If I still see any sales, I have them linked down. The case, 
Now, here's the thing. The case is great eye candy. It's a beautiful case. It's from Sama. It's the 2851M Micro ATX. You can only fit a Micro ATX motherboard in there. Um, it is a fish tank style case. But I love this case for one thing. The cable management is probably the best cable management I ever had to deal with with a fish tank style. But you're not going to get the deal I got on it. It's not available. I only got it for $42.79. At the time, it was for $39.99, and they said it had three left on Amazon. I clicked it, got one. The sale is no longer available. I don't know if they're going to bring it back, and if they do, if they're going to put it for that sale, because this is a high-quality case, in my opinion. So, yeah, I am going to have some links to some solid alternatives for around $50 to $60. Now, the CPU cooler is just the ID Coolant SE 214XT. Go out there get it it's around 20 dollars every day of the week on amazon i got it for 16.25 and then finally the cable extensions from aliexpress 12 dollars 29 cents and now we already know the graphics card is the intel arc i did get it for 250 dollars after taxes that's 267.49 they do not have this available i hope they do bring this back and do more because a lot of people have been buying it and really like we've been putting our wallets out there because it is a solid graphics card and i'm going to do some gaming testings i am just going to throw out some specs on there like this is on the archetype xe2 it has xe cores i don't know what that means 20 <laughs> render slices 5 ray tracing units 20 uh, matrix extension intel xe matrix extension engine don't know what that means 160 xe vector engine 160 don't know what that means graphics card clocked at 2670 megahertz uh gpu peak tops 233 now that is what is it trillion operation per seconds i did remember that hat a tbp that's hard to say uh 190 watts and it is on express lane four by eight um and the main thing is it has 12 gigabytes of ddr6 for vram and that's used for games nowadays uh memory interface 192 bits um bandwidth 456 gigabytes and then the memory speed is 19 gigabytes but yeah i can't wait to get testing i'm going to battle it against the um 4060 ti 8 gigabyte because i did get it for around the same prices used and that's where i mainly do is used uh gaming pc so um yeah so yeah just stay tuned i'm gonna finish downloading windows and get into all of that all right let's try this again so i don't really know what i should put it on so i just left it on whatever it started off with uh yeah full screen 1080p uh widescreen i did change the field of view to 110 i don't know why i did that fps limit 1000 it has motion blur on high i just left it as that overall graphics quality i just left it on high uh that's what they had it on so i just left it on high and that's what they have now this one vegetation animation quality uh they had it on ultra i just switched to the high Resolution scaling, I turned it off because I didn't understand the dynamic or the static. Um, uh, and I think that's, I just want raw FPS numbers and then performance metrics off and then color filtering mode off and high contrast mode also. Those are the settings. So with the B580, I decided to try a new game, Indiana Jones. And this is one of the harder to run games on any system. And to my surprise, the B580 did keep up with the RTX 4060 Ti. Now, the 4060 Ti is supposed to be considered a better card. But as you can see, both of them maintain 60 frames per second and was about close. I think, like, the B580 fell in a couple of scenarios. But all in all... They both perform very similar and to my surprise and it was a smooth gaming experience so nothing more nothing less than that i try to be or try to make some of the same movements but as you can see later on in the video it just starts going off track on both of them um this was the first time i ever tried playing this game and 
I wish I could have played the beginning scenario out, but I just didn't think that was going to be a real depiction of what the game had to offer. Because in the beginning, you get to play in probably one of the best cinematic uh, moments ever with the boulder coming down on the player. But it didn't have the same feel as it did watching Indiana Jones as a young kid, but still... It was fun just to relive that moment, especially in video games, especially with the graphics looking this nice. And trust me, on high ultra settings on a 4090, these <laughs> graphics look a lot better. But yeah, I'm going to get back into uh, the other testing. Dazzling like with diamonds in the light. Glowing in the night like fireflies Blushing like the sunset in your eyes Floating like a halo paradise Somehow you make all the wrong things right Now that I got you We could burn it down, 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 down We could burn it down, 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 down Look at what we found, 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 found For you I'm always down, 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 down We could burn it down, 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 down We could burn it down, 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 down Look at what we found, 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 found For you I'm always down, 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 down We could burn it down with time spy on both pcs and both pcs perform kind of similar uh 12,322 for the intel graphics card and then 12,319 for the 4060 now here's here's the thing though i kind of messed up and when i was doing all the testing with the 4060 ti i did not enable re sizable bar on there and i forgot to set the x in the profile so it was running on a slower ram and it didn't have a sizable bar which does make a difference um not really in the rtx card it gives you about a five to ten uh point boost in frames on average but uh on the intel it's kind of unstable without resizable bar so yeah and i, I don't know i, I want to go back and do the installing of the graphics card all over again and on installing and installing so i'm just probably going to leave it at that um but let's look at the pc all right so i got it on a bigger screen now uh so you can see it better and i do like the intel graphics card and how it looks in this case, I just think it's better because it takes up a lot more room than this little tiny 4060 Ti. But um, the prices are pretty much similar. And uh, now here's the thing about the Intel Arc. I know a lot of people have been hyping it up. I could see why they're hyping it up, mainly because of the price point, the extra VRAM, and it does compete. Uh, it beats the 4060 in a lot of cases. And... It competes against the 4060 Ti 8 gigabytes, which should be better than 4060 
Uh, that's why I actually wanted to test that. I do actually have a 4060 somewhere here. <laughs> but, yeah, I can see why they like it. But to me, it, it kind of disappointed me because I feel like it has to face the next generation, not the 4060. It's going to have to face the 50 series and we'll see how it does against the 50 series but that vram adding the extra vram does help as you can see in a game that actually shocked me was indiana jones it was utilizing 10 gigabytes of its vram as whereas the 4060 ti was only utilizing the av ram that it has and it actually surprised me because it competed against that um and it did quite well and they were pretty much even now the reason why i said surprise me that they're pretty much even is because when you turn on that game and stalker 2 the first thing that you see or one of the first things you see is nvidia's logo on it the game was made for for nvidia in mind so i thought like the 4060 when i saw it i was like yeah uh intel art has no chance the 460 is gonna blow it out 460 ti is gonna blow it out of the water but to my surprise it didn't it actually kept up with it i mean i think it had a little bit more dips in the 460 ti but other than that it really kept up with it performed quite well on high settings and then in stalker 2 it didn't perform as well which was weird to me because it wasn't really utilizing all of that vram at medium settings i did try it on high settings i don't know if i'm going to if i show that in the video but i did do it at high settings but medium settings it struggled to maintain 60 frames per second at 1080p whereas the 460 ti was over 40 was over 60 unless you're in town for some reason when you're in town you lose a lot more frames but when you're exploring uh yeah it was maintaining 60 to 70 frames fortnite it does lag in fortnite and call of duty it did get beat out by the 4060 i'm not gonna lie but in fortnite it does struggle to play it and it loses to the 4060 in Fortnite. Um, and that's the thing, like Intel just isn't quite there. It's going to get there. And that's why I think why people like it, because it is going to get there, give them more time. And yeah, you're going to see give them more time and you're going to see them rise up. And if they can keep the price low and keep adding VRAN and that's going to force NVIDIA to make changes to but we're going to have to see with the 50 series how that comes out um but yeah uh that's all I have to say about the Intel Arc um just going on the PC I actually this is probably my favorite uh fish tank case now there is a lot of extra room that I don't like about fish tech cases, but the cable management and this one was actually pretty nice. The only thing I didn't like is that the uh, RGB hub was at the bottom underneath the graphics card. Um, I just ripped it from the bottom and then stuck it up top. But other than that, everything came out nice. It does look nice with the black and the white scheme. Uh, I say it looks nice <laughs> and like a second ago I was looking, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really kind of like it. I think it's just because the RAM is just jet black. If the RAM had like some RGB in it, I think it'll look a lot better. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this PC build. So yeah, and uh, the Intel Arc, I, uh, I actually do have another car. So just look in the future for me actually putting another PC together with another Arc graphics card. It ain't going to be the 580, but it's going to be another art graphics card. But yeah, until next time, <clears throat> it's your boy, Chef Boy. Are you a dad? And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, 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 yeah.